Today we're going to be cooking butterfly cakes, which originated from England. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make at home. It's not hard and they taste absolutely fabulous. First thing that you're going to need to do is organize your equipment and utensils. So we're going to need the oven because we're going to have to bake these cakes. But don't forget we need our scrap bowl for our eggshell and any other mess that we might make in the kitchen. We need a tablespoon measure because we need to measure two tablespoons of milk for the batter. We need a half cup measure for our self-raising flour, a quarter cup measure for our caster sugar. We also need a glass mixing bowl and a wooden spoon. We'll also need a teaspoon measure to measure out our corn flour. And we'll need some patty cases and a patty tin. We'll also need two spoons to help us get the batter straight into the patty cases with ease. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to actually cream the butter and the sugar together. This process actually helps incorporate and dissolve the sugar into the butter, but it also makes the batter nice and light and airy, so you get a nice fluffy fairy cake. Uh, there's none of those heavy cakes um, when we're making butterfly cakes. They need to be nice and light. So I'm just going to use a wooden spoon. The first step is to sort of kind of rub the butter into the sugar, okay, just to help it sort of mix in. Once the sugar's been worked up into the butter, then we can sort of cream it and mix it until it's light. Now you should be able to see a colour change. At the moment it's pretty yellow. But as we keep mixing, you'll notice as we keep mixing, they'll start to get lighter and lighter and it should be nice and fluffy. That way we know we've creamed our butter and sugar correctly. So I'm just going to bring that together. It might take a, a while so for it to come together, but be patient, it will come together. Okay, so just mixing it up. A little bit of elbow grease, never hurt anybody, so a little bit of mixing action. Now, you could use an electric um, mixer to do this, and it would take probably half the time. But for today, it's such a small amount of ingredients that it's just easier to sort of cream it in the bowl with a wooden spoon. Nice and easy. Okay, so we're just going to sort of rub that butter into the sugar, the sugar into the butter, okay, to get that nice creamy texture. It's what we're looking for to make those beautiful light airy fairy cakes, butterfly cupcakes. Okay, so if you can see now, it's actually, the actual mixture's actually gotten lighter, so it's not as yellow. Once it's nice and creamy, and it's light like this, then you know it's been creamed beautifully. The next step is to then add in and incorporate our egg into the mixture. So I'm just going to simply crack my egg straight into the bowl, into my scrap bowl, and I'm just going to mix that egg into our butter and sugar with my wooden spoon again until it's nicely well incorporated. Okay, so just mixing that up till it's nice and light. It might take a few minutes to get those lumps out, but you want it nice and smooth. A little bit of human mixing here. Okay, so you can see now, I can see now that it's all come together quite nicely. That looks absolutely fabulous. Okay, so now we can add in our dry ingredients. We've essentially created and mixed all our wet ingredients together. Now we always add our dry ingredients into our wet. So for our dry ingredients, we need our half cup of self-raising flour. It's already been sifted, so it's good to go. And we'll need one teaspoon of corn flour. Adding the corn flour, uh, in contrast to the self-raising flour, actually just makes it nice, light and airy. It gives it a really nice, fine texture, so it'll make a really nice cake. So I'm just going to gently fold. Now, before you saw me moving pretty quickly with the wooden spoon, like, and that's known as beading, but to actually keep the cakes nice and light, we need to fold. And it works in a bit of a clock-turning motion. So just watch. I'm really going to be quite gentle with that. So I go around, cut through the middle, go around again and lift. So you're really wanting to sort of fold and keep as much air into that mixture as you can. That way you'll end up with a beautiful cake at the end that's not heavy. So just again, just nice and light until the flour has been incorporated well into our wet ingredients. Now I have got two tablespoons of milk already measured out. 
I'm just going to pour that in to our batter and then again lightly folding so none, no fast movements are required here just gently folding that bringing that together bringing both the milk into the flour butter mixture you know it's ready when it loses that milky sheen and you can see that looks like it's a perfect batter there okay that looks good so now we're ready to scoop into our prepared patty trays now this is why I've actually got the two tablespoons by having the two tablespoons it makes it a really easy to get the batter into the patty cases without making a lot of mess if I get any batter on that tray, it's going to burn in the oven. So let's just place the batter straight into the middle. As best you can, straight into the middle of the case. Now we normally, rule of thumb is to fill the case a third from the top. So that way you have a little bit, a little bit of um, rising room for the batter and the cakes to to rise up. So again, just a little bit. Try it. I mean, I've spilt a little bit of batter there. Uh, and now that I'm aware of it, I'm actually just going to get a bit of a paper towel and I'll clean that up because I don't want any burning smells coming out of my kitchen. So you, do, you will make six patty cases. So you make six little patty cakes. Just be patient. Evenly divide the batter as best as you can between your six cases. And they'll take roughly around 10 to 12 minutes in the oven to bake and once they're baked then I can show you how we actually transform these little patty cakes into actual butterfly cakes so I'll just show you I've just taken a little bit of paper towel here and I'm actually going to clean up that excess butter because I don't want it to burn had I gone a little slower maybe it would not have happened and maybe that's what we need to do just take your time and get it in the case okay so now it's ready to be baked Okay, we've actually baked those beautiful patty cakes and now we're ready to transform them into our beautiful butterfly cakes. So just as a little reminder, to, so you know when the cakes are actually cooked, you can just use your finger and press it into the middle of the cake. If it springs back, then you know the cake is cooked all the way through and you're ready to take it out of the oven. Okay, let's have a go at converting this plain old patty cake into a beautiful butterfly cake. So the first step is we need to actually cut around out of the top middle part of the cake. So I'm just going to use a plain butter knife with a nice point to the end and I'm just going to cut around like a, a round disc and then pull that round disc out of the middle. So you end up creating like a cavity and you create, you've got two bits, you've got the top bit and you've got the cavity. So we can actually fill that with our jam and cream and we can actually cut that top part to make the actual wings. So to do that, I'm just going to cut that top section of cake and split that in half. Okay, so for my cavity in here, I'm going to add in some jam. So just grab about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of jam into the cavity it goes or into the little hole. It gives a nice surprise in the cake. And then once we do our jam, we can then add our thickened whipped cream, which I'll have at our station that we can all share from and I'm just going to put the thick cream dollop that into the middle of the cavity it also gives the butterfly cake some really nice height then what we can actually do is using your two halves from your top the way you position these will actually form the wings of the butterfly so it was flat like this in the round disc in order to make the butterfly we need to angle it more so I'm just going to angle that into the cream mixture and that's as simple as that. That's how we make our beautiful butterfly cake. To finish that off we should actually add a little drift of icing sugar. Okay, the last finished touch to make these absolutely perfect is to add a little bit of icing sugar and dust it over the top. Okay, so I'm just going to take some icing sugar and place that into a sifter. We actually have shakers at school, so you'll be able to just gently drift the icing sugar over the top and that will finish off your cake absolutely beautiful. Watch the transformation as this cake becomes dressed. So I'm just going to hold it above and I'm just going to again, like sifting, just gently tap the sifter around so I'm not actually coating it too heavy, but just enough to just give that that little bit of finished flair that makes this cake 
takes it to the next level. And so as you can see, there's our finished perfect butterfly cake.